The University of the Gambia School of Medicine and Allied Health Sciences Wednesday inducted newly graduated medical students into the medical profession. The swearing ceremony was held at the Paradise Suites Hotel. He has more details of that in this report by Moses Mende. The 15th cohort will now join the growing number of students graduating from the UTG School of Medicine and Allied Health Sciences. Since inception, the school has graduated over 300 students, a tally that has now heightened with the graduation of class 22. The swearing-in ceremony of the 40 graduates opened a new chapter in their career as medical doctors. In marking their induction into the medical profession, the young doctors took a Hippocratic oath to uphold the core values that guide their actions. Herbert Robinson, Vice Chancellor of UTG, described the occasion as a success story and said it is the beginning of a challenging journey. Today's swearing in ceremony presents a solemn but joyous occasion for our graduating medical doctors to swear their professional oath and thus become properly inducted into the medical profession by the Medical and Dental Council of the Gambia. After the completion of their program of study, doctors need such a statement to make a public commitment to the professional responsibilities they assume. Thereafter, these principles should provide guidance in the increasingly difficult, complex, ethical, life and death decisions they will make throughout their professional lives. He urged the graduates to be guided by a genuine sense of nationhood as they practice their work. Professor Per Gomez, Minister of Mohast, reminded the young doctors about the national call to serve and stated that if their predecessors had stayed, the country's health sector will have experienced remarkable success. So, I hope once again that uh, you will work to, to support the healthcare delivery as, uh, I mean, in the Gambia during these trying times. And I sincerely hope that uh, uh, they, you, you will uh, all promise to work in the Gambia at least for some years. This batch of doctors bring to now come to more than 300, can say 321, but the data can be looked at after. But more than 300, that's what this government has done since the last bite in 2006. But you've heard the Minister of Health talked about the provinces. Let's imagine all these 300 plus, if they had stayed, because the reality is a good chunk have gone. That's why I said to look at your parents, look at your brothers and sisters, so that we don't repeat the same mistake. He added that the government prioritizes the medical school because it needs a healthy nation. Dr. Amadou Samate, Health Minister lauded the young doctors for demonstrating patriotism during the COVID-19 pandemic and reminded them of what is expected of them. To whom much is given, much is expected. We expect doctors to perform as doctors, to behave as doctors, and I'm happy that all the speakers before me did mention that. A senior colleague of mine did mention to me a number of years ago, he said, we are respected as doctors because of what we know. Today, I'm going to stand here and add something to that, but also because of the way we behave. If we want to be respected as doctors, we must behave like doctors should behave. So a lot is expected of doctors. I'm happy that uh, uh, 
the chairman of the Medical and Dental Council did mention all those here, the ethics of the profession. But of course, there are also etiquettes of the profession, which you need to know. He said the group is promising and assured them of the ministry's support in their endeavors. Honorable Samate also revealed that the government has commenced postgraduate training in the country and doctors can now specialize at home without needing to go abroad. He encouraged the newly qualified practitioners to not separate from their books because education is a continuous process. Alma Mikante, 15th cohort, class representative, while giving a speech said, they have overcome challenges, but the next chapter requires a better version of them, adding that every level comes with its challenges. The occasion was closed with the awarding of Physician Oath Certificate to the graduates. In as much as the UTG Medical School continues to enjoy success, it has also been faced with infrastructural and human resources challenges. Moses Mendy, iAfrica News.